Hi guys, it's Ian Coleman from OSBFX. It is the 8th of July 2021, uh, about 11 o'clock in the morning. Uh, pretty quiet in the group uh, today. Um, there's not a lot going on for me. I've got uh, a mild bias to sell Euro, sell Swiss, and to buy uh, the Aussie dollar and the New Zealand dollar. Um, but they're not marrying up probably the best um, the cross currency that I'm looking at at the moment is New Zealand against the Swiss franc. Um, if you haven't joined us already, then please do this. Uh, we've got a, a group going uh, at the moment uh, on Telegram. Uh, it's called OSBFX. Here's the link to the channel, which is t.me forward slash OSBFX. And this is the channel where I'm posting uh, charts and basically what I am up to and what I'm looking at uh, throughout the day. Um, we've also got a chat group up here. Um, if anybody wants to uh, interject and, uh, and and give their views, um, it's free. Um, come and join us. It's uh, hopefully you will uh, le learn something. So anyway, let's get back to the charts. Let's talk about the single currencies, where we are, where we think we're going, etc., etc., etc. The dollar. I've put 50 at 159.48 here. I believe that's where we're heading to. Now, we have got a uh, confluence area to the upside around about 156, but I haven't got any resistance there. Um, and resistance is up here. So I think what we might end up doing is having an extended uh, crab formation uh, instead of a uh, butterfly. So at the moment, the bias is bullish. Uh, but as you can see, I haven't got any support until down here. Uh, so I'm sort of in no man's land as far as the dollar is concerned at the, at the moment. Now the euro, I've just been talking about this a, a, a minute ago. Obviously it's uh, ECB today. Um, we have stalled, or we did stall at this 61.8% pullback level, which lined up with this. Uh, but we are starting to push through. So it is looking like we could get up to the 78.6% pullback level. Now, let me just take this off for a second. This is still a, a valid uh, resistance, so and it might actually work better for. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking out loud, loud now, but it might actually work better for uh, the cross currencies. So fib extension from here to here. Don't. It's obviously high risk if you do play Euro today because of the ECB. Uh, but there's the potential for that pattern. So you can see our bespoke resistance here lines up with 78.6%. As long as you know which leg you're playing, and you're potentially going to be playing the BC leg, and the BC leg can be quite short. So even if it does react lower from there, it might only be a small dip, or it might be a deep dip. So, but this is resistance anyway. So I've still got a mildly bearish bias on uh, the euro. Now think about that against the uh, the cross. Now the cross has been moving to the downside quite aggressively, but the euro has actually been moving higher. So that basically means uh, that that euro dollar move has actually been driven by the, by the dollar moving higher, not by uh, the euro moving lower. I hope that makes sense. Um, so mildly bearish bias, um, at least in the short term for the euro. Uh, sterling, really uh, no man's land, very, very choppy trading. Got a 50% pullback level here, which I would find interesting if we get there. But at the moment, again, we're sort of in no man's land. Swiss franc, we've had a drive to the upside. I think that's what we would call it uh, this morning. Um, very decent move higher. Is this going to stall? Well, We've got the potential for a pattern here. So this brings uh, the Swiss into play uh, for a potential move to the downside. Now, the BC legs are normally between 78.6 and 88.6%, and that's where my bespoke resistance is. So I suddenly I've got a bias to sell um, Swiss. So sell Euro. Basically, up to now, we've got dollar no man's land, sell Euro, sterling no man's land, sell Swiss, yen is no man's land by dips. Um, and in fact, if we go to this chart here, I think yen could get all the way up to here uh, on um, a risk off play. But at the moment we're in no man's land, so I can't play it anyway. Um, Canadian dollar, 
still moving higher, lower, sorry. Um, I think here is a decent support level. It's a 161.8% extension here. Uh, we should at least get a, a small bounce. We've got some support there, bespoke support. So again, sort of in no man's land, sending rally, buying dips, but we're getting close to that dip. So we will keep it on the watch list. Um, Aussie uh, has pushed through support, but we're just holding on to this level here. Okay, so that's giving uh, the Australian dollar uh, a mild bullish bias. Remember, uh, the Aussie is a risk currency, so as yen goes higher, uh, Aussie will normally go lower, and that's what is what we're seeing at the moment. So uh, we need a decent signal uh, to call this reversal because we are below uh, the resistance, or sorry, the support level. Uh, New Zealand dollar, um, again, I think we might spike through, although we've got support here, um, we haven't got a, um, a formation until we get a little bit lower. So basically, looking at all the single currencies, there's a lot that are in no man's land, there is a lot that are trending, um, but just deciphering all of that, that would give me a bias to sell Euro, sell Swiss, buy Aussie, buy New Zealand, but not necessarily at current levels. And this is where I'm struggling really today, because if I go to my um, baskets, um, this is what it's given me. So potential to sell Euro New Zealand. But um, the issue that I have here is even though I have got a formation and it's just breaking to the upside, I haven't got any bespoke support or resistance. So I've got to leave it alone. Uh, Euro Aussie. Uh, again, I've got a 127.2% fib here, uh, which lines up uh, with my resistance level. But I don't form a bearish pattern till up here so again i've got to stand aside it's quite frustrating uh aussie swiss uh we've got support here um but again there's no cipher pattern uh so i've got to stand aside and then new zealand swiss is about probably about the only one that has the potential to play remember we said that New Zealand's got a chance to spike through support to get down to this level. Well, New Zealand, Swiss, we don't really form a sim pattern until down here. Uh, we've got bespoke support here at 63.72. And then we've got, um, excuse me, uh, and then we've got um, the uh, butterfly formation here, 63.62, 63.55. So if any currency or cross currency is going to play out for me uh, today on on the uh, single currency charts then it's looking uh, like New Zealand Swiss all the rest of the single currency charts are really mid-range or the broken resistance broken support um, and um, that's basically not what I, I, I look at I'm looking uh, to try and buy these uh, completed patterns okay I hope that all makes sense um, I'll hopefully be back uh, with some more insights. Uh, ble please do come and uh, join the group. It's OSBFX, uh, or you can look for me on uh, on Telegram. Um, I hope you'll find it educational. Okay, guys, good luck today, and I'll be back again soon. Many thanks.